Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing a second sun shining brightly. Imagine witnessing a cosmic explosion that outshines every star in the galaxy. Imagine being part of a rare and spectacular event that happens only once in thousands of years. This is what could happen if Betelgeuse, one of the brightest and most famous stars in the sky, goes supernova in our lifetime. In our previous video, we talked about Betelgeuse's weird behavior and mysterious 150% brightness. We explained how this red supergiant star has been dimming and brightening dramatically in the past few years, sparking speculation that it may be about to explode. Based on your comments and requests, we decided to make this follow-up video to explore this fascinating topic further. In this video, we will tell you the story of Betelgeuse, how it got its name, and how it was discovered. We are going to explore the cutting-edge techniques and tools used by professional and amateur astronomers alike to study Betelgeuse, including a sneak peek at whether the James Webb Space Telescope has the capability to observe Betelgeuse. And the best part? We'll share some insider tips on how you too can observe Betelgeuse yourself from the comfort of your own backyard. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be astounded by the wonders of the universe. Betelgeuse is a star that has captured the imagination of many people for centuries. Its name comes from the Arabic word Yad al jawza which means the hand of the giant. It is also known as Alpha Orionis because it is the brightest star in the constellation of Orion, the hunter. For a long time, we thought that Betelgeuse was about 650 light years away from Earth based on measurements of its brightness and size. But a new study has challenged this assumption and revealed that Betelgeuse is actually closer and smaller than we thought. The study used data from the space-based solar mass ejection imager and three different modeling techniques to estimate Betelgeuse's radius, mass, and distance. The results showed that Betelgeuse is only about 548 light-years away from Earth, with a radius of about 764 times that of our Sun and a mass between 16.5 and 19 times that of our Sun. This means that the light we see from Betelgeuse today left the star 548 years ago, and that Betelgeuse is more likely to explode sooner than we expected. If Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. Betelgeuse is also a very old star. It is estimated to be about 10 million years old, which may sound young compared to our Sun's age of 4.6 billion years, but for a massive star like Betelgeuse, it is very old indeed. Massive stars live fast and die young. They burn their fuel much faster than smaller stars, and they end their lives in spectacular explosions called supernovas. Betelgeuse was first observed by ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians, Babylonians, and Greeks. They associated it with various gods and myths. For example, the Egyptians saw Betelgeuse as part of Osiris, the god of death and resurrection. The Babylonians saw it as part of Marduk, the god of creation and justice. The Greeks saw it as part of Orion, the mighty hunter who was killed by a scorpion sent by Artemis. The first scientific observation of Betelgeuse was made by Galileo Galilei in 1612. He used his telescope to measure its position and brightness. He also noticed that it was slightly reddish in color. He was followed by other astronomers such as Johannes Hevelius, John Flamsteed, and William Herschel, who studied its variability and spectrum. In the 20th century, Betelgeuse became one of the first stars to have its size measured by interferometry, a technique that combines the light from multiple telescopes to create a high-resolution image. It was also one of the first stars to have its surface features resolved by adaptive optics, a technique that corrects for atmospheric distortion. These observations revealed that Betelgeuse has a complex and dynamic surface, with hot spots, dust clouds, and pulsations, But what if Betelgeuse were to explode? How likely is that to happen in our lifetime? And what would we see if it did? As we mentioned before, Betelgeuse is a very old star that is nearing the end of its life. It has already exhausted most of its hydrogen fuel in its core and has started to fuse helium into carbon. Eventually, it will fuse carbon into oxygen, then oxygen into silicon, then silicon into iron. When it reaches iron, it will no longer be able to produce energy by fusion. 
The core will collapse under its own gravity and bounce back in a violent shockwave that will rip the star apart in a supernova. But when exactly will this happen? The answer is, we don't know for sure. Betelgeuse could explode any time within the next 100,000 years, or maybe even sooner. It depends on many factors that are hard to predict, such as the mass, rotation, and magnetic field of the star, and the details of the nuclear reactions in its core. However, some astronomers have suggested that Betelgeuse may be showing some signs of instability or pre-supernova activity. For example, in late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse dimmed by about 60%, reaching its lowest brightness in more than a century. This was later explained by a dust cloud that obscured part of the star, but some scientists think that the dust cloud may have been caused by a massive eruption from the star's surface, which could indicate that the star is losing mass and becoming unstable. Another sign of possible instability is Betelgeuse's recent brightening. In May 2021, Betelgeuse became brighter than ever recorded, reaching about 150% of its normal brightness. This could be due to a normal variation in the star's pulsation cycle, or it could be due to a change in the star's internal structure or temperature. If Betelgeuse were to explode, we would see an amazing spectacle in the sky. The first thing we would notice would be a burst of neutrinos, which are tiny particles that can pass through matter almost unhindered. These neutrinos would reach Earth within minutes of the star's collapse and would be detected by special instruments around the world. A few hours later, we would see the light from the explosion. Betelgeuse would become extremely bright, about as bright as the full moon, and would be visible during the day and night. It would remain bright for several months, gradually fading and changing color. It would also produce a lot of radiation, such as gamma rays, X-rays and radio waves, which would be detected by satellites and telescopes. The supernova would not harm life on Earth, because Betelgeuse is too far away to affect us directly. However, it could have some effects on some satellites and spacecraft that rely on solar power or are sensitive to radiation. It could also have some effects on other planets in our solar system, such as changing the climate of Mars or triggering auroras on Jupiter. How are we observing Betelgeuse, and how can you observe it yourself? Betelgeuse is one of the most studied stars in the sky. It is observed by many professional and amateur astronomers using various instruments and techniques. Some of the most advanced instruments that are observing Betelgeuse are the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble has captured some incredible images of Betelgeuse, including a stunning image released in 2022 that showed the star slowly recovering after blowing its top. This image, which was captured in ultraviolet and visible light, revealed new insights into the complex and dynamic nature of this massive star. But wait, what about James Webb? Well, while James Webb is primarily designed to observe faraway objects in the universe, it can also be used to detect infrared radiation emitted by the ejecta of coronal mass ejections as they move away from Betelgeuse. Coronal mass ejections are massive eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields that can occur on the surface of stars like Betelgeuse. By detecting the infrared radiation emitted by these ejections, astronomers can study the dynamics of the star's outer atmosphere and learn more about the processes that drive these powerful events. However, you don't need a space telescope to observe Betelgeuse. You can observe it with your own eyes or with a simple telescope or binoculars. Betelgeuse is easy to find in the night sky. It is located in the constellation of Orion, which is one of the most recognizable constellations in both hemispheres. Orion looks like a hunter with a belt of three stars and a sword hanging from it. Betelgeuse is the bright red star at the shoulder of Orion. To observe Betelgeuse's variability, you can compare its brightness with other stars in Orion or nearby constellations. For example, you can compare it with Rigel, which is the blue star at the foot of Orion, or with Aldebaran, which is another red star in the constellation of Taurus. You can also use online tools or apps to help you measure and record Betelgeuse's brightness. To observe Betelgeuse's surface features or dust clouds, you need a telescope or binoculars with high magnification and resolution. You also need a clear night with good seeing conditions, which means that the air is steady and not turbulent. You can also use filters or cameras to enhance your observation. 
Observing Betelgeuse is not only fun and educational, but also important for science. By observing Betelgeuse regularly and carefully, you can contribute to our understanding of this fascinating star and its future evolution. You may even be the first to witness its supernova explosion and report it to the scientific community. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Betelgeuse, the star that could explode in our lifetime. Betelgeuse is a fascinating and mysterious star that has captivated many people for centuries. It is also a star that could give us a rare and spectacular show that we may never forget. Thank you for watching and for keeping up to date with our videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and wonder what secrets they hold.